Hello, Suzanne Henwood here, Embraining for Success. Do you ever find that sometimes you doubt your place? You're not sure where you belong or indeed even if you belong. Sometimes for me when I have those negative thoughts and doubts I come to this beautiful beach on Cornwallis, my thinking space as I've begun to call it. The bench here where I sit and I'm always pleased when I park and find it empty. I'll often bring my journal to sit and write. Sometimes I'll just sit and think. I'm sure you can hear the waves. The water is very still today, very gentle. Yet you can still hear the waves coming and going. A reminder that things just carry on. So many analogies going with the flow, not trying to force against the tide. And just knowing that that life force will keep flowing. And today I came down to the beach again to think, to reflect, to meditate. And I brought with me my Bible. And I don't always share so openly about my Christian faith, but one of the Psalms that I love to read when I question belonging is Psalm 139. And I thought I'd just offer it today for you in this beautiful place, sharing this beautiful sound of nature, vision of nature the colours. So Psalm 139. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I just love the certainty, the knowledge that all of us are, our good parts, our not so good parts, are known and loved and accepted anyway. I love the comparison around darkness and light, that the darkness is as light to you. That nothing, nothing at all can ever separate us from God if we choose to see him and reach out for him. And were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand fitting so beautifully on the beach that the thoughts that God has for me, which we know from other places are plans to prosper, not to harm, from Jeremiah that those thoughts outnumber the grains of sand and even on just this tiny little bit of beach because the, the tide is right in and there's very little sand showing that we can't even begin to count God's thoughts for us. I just find that really positive, really affirming and uh, I just wish for you that you would take time to maybe listen to that again bits just for you 
right for you. And uh, you know, as you hear a car draw up, just head out into your day in a different way, knowing that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and that exactly as you are is just perfect and just right. Bless you. With much love. Susan.